Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nilboy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Check it. Now, look, we got a special vlog for you today. Why is it special right now? Well, I'm going to tell you why it's special, y'all, okay? Now, this is a trips episode. Repeat, this is a trips episode. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, let me kind of explain what's going on. Real quick, real quick. Don't click off, damn it. Don't click off. You just clicked on why you're trying to click off already, okay? Let me explain. The name of my channel is called Fish and Trips, all right? My intention was to post vlogs of me going fishing. Right now, there's 49 videos of me going fishing. Plenty of content for you to watch. However, the second part of my channel's name, Trips. My intention was to take road trips and just kind of do some showcases of small towns and what to do in that area was pretty cool to see. So yeah, that's what today's episode is going to be, a Trips episode. And for the first Trips episode on my channel, I'm going to... Wait for it. Well, it's probably already in, in the title and thumbnail. Whatever. Texas City. I'm going to Texas City, y'all. I'm going to Texas City. We're going to check out what's popping in Texas City. The only thing I really know about Texas City is the Texas City Dyke. So we can see if we can find some other cool spots. We'll go check out the Dyke and see what's popping. All right. Trips episode. All right. Um, buckle up, people. We got a road trip to go to. Let's go. Like the world is on our side Nothing can bring me down tonight And ooh, baby When we're together, you and I Your touch sends chills down my spine Alright, so I decided to make a little quick stop Quick stop at Bucky's yeah, now, if you've never been to Bucky's before, how can I describe Bucky's? Okay, imagine your typical gas station, all right? Pump it up with about three gallons of steroids, and you have Bucky's. That's right, Bucky's. Big old store with a bunch of stuff in there. I don't even know why. I mean, who, why does a gas station need to sell a sewing machine, gun, beef jerky, and crack pipes in the same store? I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't understand What's the complexity of that? Bucky's is pretty much like a fleet market. It's the gas station of fleet markets, okay? So I thought we might take a quick look at it, make a little pit stop, and check it out. I probably won't get a sponsorship because I said Bucky sell crack pipes. God damn it, Rennell, keep it PG. Come on! Um All right, so what better place to start to learn about a town's history besides the town's museum? Man, I've been to Texas City many times before. I actually never knew it had a museum, so this is news to me. I'm located here on 6th Street, now it's like 6th and 4th Street. Now, 6th Street apparently used to be the town's uh, or city's first major roadway. So probably like back in the 1800s, this is where cowboys were at, swinging and banging, listening to screw tapes on horses and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I think they kind of reno you know, renovated, renovated? Renovated the um, main road recently, so it looks a lot better than what you know originally did. I think back in the day, it used to have like potholes and everything. Now, you know, 6th Street in Texas City is looking like Mayberry, to be honest with you. So yeah, let's go check out the museum and check out a little bit of history of Texas City. Let go. Alright, let's check out some of the artwork here in the lobby. Um, it's a $7 admission if you're a military or a senior, I believe it's $5. So this appears to be some kind of um, Texas City gang. Um, not sure what particular gang you would call this. I guess the Traynon Oil Bloods, I'm not sure. But um, what, is, what is this? Who told him that that hat was okay? Who told him that? Look, look, look at everybody else drip. He come in here with that gnome hat. It's always one in the group. Let's check out some more artwork. Apparently, this is the original photo of the Titanic. Never knew the Titanic came to Texas City. Um, this appears to be some kind of camp as well. Let's see here, and we have um. All right, that's pretty terrifying. Um, apparently, the Texas City. Police department used to take photos with 
Al Capone. So that's promising. Uh, we have a nice little family here. Um, that girl right here will more than likely be haunting my dreams tonight. All right, here's another section of a very large cannon. Apparently this cannon used to be located on a ship, USS Westfield. And yeah, this is what used to go down on that ship. So yeah, they do have some small ammunition to kind of let you know what that ammo looked like. I mean, personally, I prefer my Springfield, but if they have a compact version of this, I might cop it, you know, for the truck, put it on the back of the truck. All right, and here is a soldier's memorial. That is a original duffel bag. So is a helmet. Look at that, man. The denim is still crispy. This is from um, 1954, still good. How is this from 1954, not a whole or tear in it. You buy something from Walmart now, disintegrates two days later. This is a soldier's foot locker. So let's see what kind of stuff they got. You got a jacket, let's see a pocket knife, wife beater, some socks, toothbrush, got a comb, some shaving cream, and a picture of his wife or girl. Interesting. Sports memorabilia. Um, that's the football that Al Bundy scored four touchdowns in one game with. Um, apparently, Bruno Mars is from Texas City. Let's see what we got here. And, um, oh, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Finally found somebody. The first African American spotted here. And of course, his name is Charles Brown. As you can see, Mr. Brown had drip. They was dressing like Prince, even back in the day. So um, cop that Charles Brown. You can go to the north side of Houston, get it screwed and chopped as well. Gotta support, gotta support my people. Charles Brown, pick it up. 1922, drip. Okay, if we're gonna talk about the history of Texas City, we have to talk about one of the largest industrial accidents of our time. In April of 1947, the SS Grand Camp that was docked here was filled with ammonia nitrate, AKA fertilizer. That caught on fire, blew up, caused an explosion that went 2,000 feet into the air. When it was all said and done, over 600 people died and 5,000 people were injured. All right, thank you. Uh, Yesterday I lost the battle Trying at all costs oh, To keep you, baby Oh, to keep you, baby Do, do, do Now I hurt so bad All I feel is sad there I lost you, baby Oh, I lost you, baby One of the things that Texas City heavily relies on with their economy are their chemical plants. Now this particular complex is the second largest in Texas, third largest in the US in regards to petroleum, okay? Now here's the interesting thing. Back in 2005 of March, there was a huge BP explosion where 15 people died and 183 people went to the hospital. Now as I say that out loud, I have no clue why my dumb ass decided to stop on the side of the road next to a chemical plant to report this information. Getting back in my truck to help that next location. sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once 
was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. All right, so currently I am at the 1867 Settlement Historic District, still in Texas City. Um, this home was owned by Frank Sr. and Favilia Bell, and they were the first black people to own land in Texas. Now, something very interesting, um, back in the 1800s, they actually gave free slaves the ability to buy land of 320 acres. Here's the catch though. In order for you to be a free slave to buy land, you have to have a referral you had to get a referral from a white business owner in order to buy land in your own community so he did build a house for his family and um the house is beautiful they said that you know they had hard times but it was a true testament to how you know black people can prevail and even though that you know they kind of started you know in a hole in a hole um they went from slaves to becoming landowners and have this beautiful piece of property and yeah once again it's pretty awesome that you know this particular house represents the first black ownership of a home in Texas City. So that's the history of this place. Glad I came and check it out. It's a beautiful place. Have a look. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears Relieved How precious did That grace appear The hour I first believed I'm a rolling stone Bound to roam Come the morning Or I'll be gone Pouring rain Wanna oh, hear that train Get home. All right, y'all. So we have arrived to the most popular location in Texas City, the Texas City Dyke. That's right. That's right. So look, if people are coming to Texas City, there's about a 95% chance the reason they're coming is to come visit the dike. Now, this particular structure was first approved for construction back in 1935. Ironically, many years later, in 2009, Hurricane Ike destroyed it! 11-foot storm surge took the whole dike out. Now, it took two years of rebuilding for this dike to reopen. It was closed for two years, y'all, two years. Now, it did come back bigger and stronger because as of now, it does say that the Texas City Dike is roughly 5.3 miles long with asphalt road, 24 foot wide, and 12 foot of shoulders on either side of improved crust gravel. It has been advertised as the longest man-made pier. The longest man-made pier of places where I don't catch fish. I don't know what it is about this place, y'all. If y'all watch my vlogs, my fishing vlogs, you know what I'm saying? This is the trip episode, but I do fish too. I don't really catch fish here. And I don't know why. I don't know why you can have five miles of water and no fish in it. It just doesn't make sense. Personally, you know what I think it is? You see, if you look like back here, back here, you see, you see all them damn chemical plants? You can't see them, but trust me, there's chemical plants back there. I think all the fish have mutated turned to birds and flew away. That's my theory, that's my theory. So um, let's go ahead and do a little lap, check out what's popping on the dike today, check out the views, check out the seas, and yeah, get a little sun. I'm enjoying this sun, I'm enjoying this sun. Look, about three weeks ago, we almost died in Texas from a damn snowstorm. I didn't have heat, electricity, water for like five days. If I never see a snowflake in my life, I will be extremely happy. So with that being said, y'all, um, let's cruise. Let's see what's popping. You know what I'm saying? And go make a lap. Let go!
in the day's time I go blind when